All right. Good evening, Quacklings and all. How y'all doing today? Welcome to this lovely Thursday evening. Still got one more day in the week. Hang in there. Actually, if you're in Japan and in certain places of the world, it's already Friday. So happy Friday to you or happy Friday morning, I suppose. Hope you're all doing well. In fact, how are you doing? Please let me know. I would love to know. You'll be happy to know, in fact, that I went ahead and did some troubleshooting on my routers, on my modem, with my internet provider. A few things, really. I had to kind of contact quite a few people, but um, in the end, I had to factory re reset my router, and I think that has solved the issue so far. Looking at our uh, OBS here, I can see that the frames aren't dropping at all. And the connection seems to be stable. So here's hoping that everything is not going to buffer today and should stay relatively stable from now on. And if it's, if that's not the case, I can definitely reset uh, factory reset the router again. And maybe that will fix it. But so far, it seems everything has gone pretty smoothly. Either that or my provider didn't tell me something and they decided to pick something underneath all the stuff I was asking about. So who knows? Oh, Lila, welcome back to the stream. Hello to you as well. How are you doing today? I hope everything is going well. Did you fix it? I think I did. I think I'm talking to you directly right now, right? I hope. <laughs> Here's hoping. Um, I'm pretty sure I did. And, you know, it's actually kind of funny. The Since the buffering was an issue, I noticed that yesterday's stream cut off where the buffering left off, I think. So, so... It didn't actually make it all the way to the end of the stream where uh, Finn and I finished. It actually finished um, a lot earlier, which is kind of funny. So, um, Lila, you, you can hear me? Like, can you hear me responding to you? I'm pretty sure it's fixed right now because I'm not seeing any dropped frames. If that's the case, I think we're good to. I think we're good to go. Uh, the problem is I'm going to give exams, so I'm not going to watch stream today. Bye. No, I'm sorry. Well, you know what? I'll be here for a little bit. So, you know, um, take your time. I hope everything with the exam goes well. And um, if anything, I think I'm going to stream. I think I'm going to stream on Sunday this week. So uh, not tomorrow. I have a dinner I need to go to. And then on Saturday. Oh, no, I'm sorry. Tomorrow's a Friday. Oh, no, but I have. No, no, no. That's right. I have something else I have to do on Friday, too. So. Yeah, unfortunately, today is um, going to be the stream, then perhaps Sunday. So, uh, and yes, it is fixed. Okay, great to hear. Thank you for letting me know, Lila. Uh, let's see. Clack the first. Welcome back to the stream as well. I've returned from a training arc. Is that so? Uh, today is Friday for me. Okay, let's go, Pog. Happy Friday to you. Um, so, yeah. So, this the rest of this week, I think I'll finish off streaming on Sunday. If Saturday somehow works and I get back early enough, maybe I'll do Saturday as well. But mo most likely, it's going to be a Sunday stream. So uh, keep an eye out for that. That'd be awesome. Hey, Sea Lantern, welcome back to the stream as well. Hello to you as well. How's your uh, Thursday or Friday treating you? I hope it's going good. All right. So got some interesting things set up here. So recently... Well, okay, we played Yu-Gi-Oh! Master Duels a few days ago. Well, wait, actually, was it a few days ago? It was last week, huh? Might have been last week. Um, you might have seen that I had a junk synchro deck, or rather a full synchron deck, and that was super fun to play, but I've noticed it's kind of uh, it's kind of slow. It's slow enough, not in the sense that the deck is slow, but slow in the sense that it takes forever to complete my turn, which is kind of... It's kind of bad, so <laughs> I made it. Um, I made a different deck. You'll see it today, and hopefully, I can introduce it to you. Uh, do you have a Discord server? Actually, I don't. Um, you know that'd be kind of fun to make, though. I can see about making that sometime. That's a good suggestion, Lila. Thank you for uh, pitching it. I have a. I think that would be kind of fun to do. Um, let me look into the details of it. Uh, it's a fun. So the fun thing is, I do have technically. A Quaka server, um, but it's more so. So far, right now, it's kind of geared to um, host guests and friends. So, 
what I'll do is maybe I'll make a separate Quaka server and we can have you guys jump in there if you guys are interested. So, uh, okay, make it. Bye. I'm going. I will. I'll definitely consider it. Thank you so much, Lila. And uh, yeah, I hope it works out too. I'll let you guys know if that's the case. Uh, I made it in the student council, but I I signed up as a dare. The student council. Like, oh, um, IRL, you signed up as a dare. Well, I mean, that's cool. You're going to have some interesting talks popping up if you're part of a student council. So I hope uh, everything goes well for your endeavors as a student council member as well. I never I never made it to student council, at least in middle school. I, I mean, I'm now that I think about it, I suppose I made like. I made it to become like club presidents at some points and club. uh treasurers and certain other things as well so we'll see uh Luang, welcome to the stream as well yes discord is best okay uh since there seems to be an interest for it i can definitely look into it so i'll um pop it up later this week maybe tomorrow i'll look into making the server and then uh, i'll send the link or I'll post the link on the profile at some point um most likely on x or twitter so i'm kind of ha i'm happy to hear there's interest though um and hopefully it's a place we can all just have fun, get along, and chill. So here's hoping. Okay. With that, let's jump into the game screen. Oh, speaking of, before I forget, I don't know if you guys are following the Twitter page at the moment, but um, I reposted something Mama Ace, our lovely artist, has, uh, <laughs> has drawn. We were actually drawing up ideas for a um live 2d model and during that process we decided to have fun we were like what would, what would happen if we drew nanashi in a certain way i'm not gonna say what kind of way yet you can you can spoil it if you really want to by checking the twitter but um today at critical moments i'll pop in the image and maybe you'll see <laughs> what i mean it's pretty funny um but it's really awesome art too at the same time so definitely check out the work if you haven't already um all right so let's pop over to the game screen okay sweet so here's our decks we have quite a few uh i actually I, funny enough i think three quarter of these are um ideas at best and not complete because i don't have all the cards <laughs> but there are a few up here that do have all the cards starbust bonds that was starbust stardust bonds this was our uh synchron deck that it's still working. It's still quite strong, I believe. Um, just the turns take forever. So I wanted to play something that's a bit shorter and faster to play, which is our Duelist Cup deck. It's going to be Cyber Dragon. Cyber Dragon's been one of my favorite decks since I watched GX. And the only deck that I really that has really ever eclipsed it are the Synchro decks in 5Ds, which is like Stardust, Synchron, Tech Genus, Plants blackwing but um growing up as a kid cyber dragon was really cool to me so um i checked out a few decks online did some research made up a deck um it seems to work well so far so i'm hoping we can get a few wins today we're gonna try to climb up in the duelist cup so i'll show you that progress in a minute oh right, what else we got so eat your veggies is my uh secret deck um i'm not gonna show that off yet like you guys know the lore I, I can't really show that one off until like there's a celebration of some sort because it's the deck i have like fully developed myself and it's kind of like it, it's, it's just it's it's funny anyways uh good luck oh thank you sea lantern i'll do my best let's try to get some wins today uh this one i found on youtube actually scrolling around it's something I really want to try because it looks hilarious. So the best way to describe this deck, I, I'm still missing a few pieces, but we're getting close. Um, actually, maybe not so close. We need to finish up the extra deck as well. But um, it's, uh, it's a play on Exodia. But what you want to do is get this guy out. This is a classic card. I remember him immediately from like ye olde days of Yu-Gi-Oh! And he has a weird effect where if you deal battle damage to your opponent's life points, 
the opponent draws two cards from their deck. And that's crazy. Like, at the time, 1800 attack was ridiculous, but I guess they wanted to offside it by letting the opponent draw two. So, I saw someone on YouTube, I think it was some clip of him playing this deck. And the idea is you send it over to your opponent with um, she and spy. You you target one monster you control and give it to the other side, which is already in itself kind of wacky, right? <laughs> Classic 1800 V-Stick with downsides. True, true. Then you get like, what, what was the Gemini Elf? Gemini Elf 19 and no downsides, but it was a normal card. Oh, you know, it's it's the classics. But um, in any case, it's a fun play on Exodia because what you do is you you send them the Bistro Butcher. Also, hello to you again, Clack. Um, with she and Spy, and then there's this new card that I wasn't aware of called Hippo Carnival. Um, you summon three Hippo tokens. They can't be special summon stuff. It's, it's that's not, not important for us. The important thing is we have three um zero attack um hippo tokens that you can smash into the bistro butcher and then that lets us draw two cards every time we smash into them and we can we're on three of each of these and there's another version of it called super hippo carnival where we get like uh perform a pal hip hippo which is just another beat stick we want to just ram into the but butcher right and then ideally we we get exodia that way which is kind of hilarious in my mind <laughs> that's something we got to try but like I said, we are missing quite a few um, cards. We just need the badges. This one's the next closest one to finish, I think. Um, and you guys know me. I love me my food decks. I am a chef after all. A sushi chef, too. So I wanted to make sous ships. Now, sous ships is a bit different in the sense that... Actually, it's mostly completed, but I have no idea really how to play them other than exceeding into five. That I don't I don't think there's any sort of variety that it goes to. Um, I have to play this deck a bit more by myself or maybe against a computer to figure out what it does. But it's pretty funny so far. I like sushi. So, you know, it's quite nice. I'm missing 60 UR before Karakuri is complete. Oh, you're making Karakuris. Those are fun, too. Yeah, 60 URs is quite a few cards. I had to dismantle quite a few UR cards that I... um didn't think I'd need and it was kind of sad because a lot of those were blue eyes cards which is what was my first deck like in master duel but I didn't see myself unfortunately making blue eyes anymore at any point anytime soon so I figured if I want to I'll, I'll just recreate them or if we get lucky there's a pack out there we can open up and get them back uh there's not much to it the deck is just to make xyz and punch that sounds about right. <laughs> so I like the simplicity of that, though. Um, so far, I've been playing decks that have like so many different negates. It's just unfun. <laughs> then, now, to be fair, I have one in my cyber deck too. It's just Cyber Infinity, I think was the card. Um, but it's not. And I mean, actually, actually, technically, the Synchron deck has like four to five. But that, that's my dream deck. Like, I, I want to play Synchrons and Junk, and it makes it really cool, and I like Stardust Dragon, so. <laughs> um, but yes, um, one other, two others, actually, that I want to make. Well, I'm going to mention these other two first in passing, but TG and Infernity are also my favorite, uh, some of my other favorite decks. I just have to make the parts. Ojama Shimas is an Ojama deck. Um, that I need to also get a bunch of um, pieces for still. And food, this one's on the new nu Nouvelle R Ritual cards, I think. I heard of it recently. Um, because, I mean, it's just French for like different uh, food dishes. And like, I think one is like poultry. One is like foie gras. It's really cool. Like, yeah, foie glacia, the, the nu Nouvelles. That's so cool. I love that. So I really want to make them. But I also have like zero rituals, <laughs> ritual support. So um, I was able to get a pre-preparation, luckily from a pack recently. There's still quite a few pieces missing. So this one's definitely far in the back burner, <laughs> pun. But, uh, <laughs> but 
But um, it's something I do want to make eventually, so that's there too. Anyways, that's most of the big stuff. Borger, <laughs> yes, Borger. Borger is good. It's I find it funny that you can splash it into that deck and it just works. It's so funny. Okay, so in any case, we are going to try to participate in the Duelist Cup today. 2024 March. Now... Since you guys were here, I decided to pick up a few rounds. Maybe not a few, it was quite a few. Um, just to practice a bit, climb up to as far as we can. So, so right now I'm at Duelist level 12. I started all the way at Duelist level 1 because I don't really play ranked that too often. Because I think they give you a Duelist level according to your rank in ranked. Um, so I was 1. I'm, I'm, at, I'm straight up, I think, silver at the moment. Not even like I just got out of bronze just playing practice rounds. So now we're 12. I don't know what that equates to later, but we're trying to get to 20 or max, I guess. So we can get to second stage. And I, hopefully that means more gems. I'm here for the gems, really. <laughs> but um, the dueling's fun, too, though. So we're going to play our Cyber Dragon deck right now. And let's jump into the queue while we're at it. Sea Lantern, you've played uh, Nuvals before. They seem fun. I, I think they're really cool. Oh, we got a Japanese player. Bray Brew. A brave blue bass. Blaze blue bass? <laughs> I don't know what that translates to. I'm sure it's a nickname of some sort. I like blaze blue though. Man, I miss I, I miss those games. I wish they would create a new one. Oh. Hello, go second hand. <laughs> Let's see. I played back during uh ritual festival. It was pretty cool. Oh, that's right. There was a ritual festival, wasn't there? Um Oh, I don't want to go first, though. I want to see what they do. Okay, let's just do a cyber emergency. Try to bait out anything they have in their hand. Oh, they don't have anything. Um, okay. Let's... Okay, we're going to thin our... For right now, we're going to thin our, our deck. It's, uh, hopefully, we're not facing some sort of OTK. Oh. Okay. I, I, I'll take it. <laughs> What happened? You, you do not like Cyber Dragons? I didn't even have a, a starting hand to play with, my dude. <laughs> oh, man. I'm sorry. Well, I hope you had a fun duel. <laughs> well, it'd be like that. It's okay. Maybe they have to go. It's pretty cool. So, yeah. I, I Again, I'm, I do like the... Uh, I do like cooking stuff, though. So. Let, that's, you know, I mean, that's my identity, right? I love cooking anyway, so <laughs> I want to make a food deck. There's this dude running around. Actually, funny, sp speaking of, there's a sous ships player running around, I think, the U.S. I think it was either the U.S. or Europe, and he's wearing a full-on, like, sushi getup with a sushi container, like, wood sushi container for his deck, and a whole, like, sushi getup, which is, like, one of those, like, sushi um plates that look like a geta which is like a japanese sandal <laughs> dude I, I that he's living the dream i want to be that that's so cool <laughs> uh let's see i added trip brigade to my melfi and added a third underworld goddess Ooh, interesting okay very cool uh oh wasn't he japanese i think it was an ocg turner oh was it really it might have been i i think i saw the people posting the pictures of him um on the tcg pages that's why i was like oh was it the, TC the recent like uh ycs or something that's cool though <laughs> maybe it was an ocg tournament but either way i really appreciate his uh, dedication to his sushi craft <laughs> whether or not he actually does sushi or he does like that's super cool i want to be that dude <laughs> he's so cool Okay, um, I mean, okay, let's just jump back into the queue again, because that one ended rather fast, didn't it? He surrendered to the Sidra. I mean, I think he, uh, there's a lot of ways for me to break. I've, I found I break a lot, or maybe I don't play right. Uh, oh, another Japanese player. Gokura Kura? I, I didn't read the last part of it. Let's see, his name is... John? No, it's not. <laughs> Old meme. Uh, Goku Rakuya. I don't know what that means, but that's a cool name. 
Uh, the story why I made Melfi. I have 12 pets and 13 deceased ones. Oh, sorry to hear. My condolences for the 13, but that's cool. You have so many pets. Uh, Zodiac. Oh, Zodiac. I don't know what these do. These are new. But um, I appreciate seeing something that's not Flame Eyes or uh, Bel D Dia Bellstar or like... <laughs> There's so many decks that I've run into during that process of going up to D level 12. That I was like, okay, this is definitely a top tier deck. I'm going to get wrecked. <laughs> Let's see. Also, Underworld Goddess looks like my best friend. I appreciate that. That's cool. Oh. Eh. Huh? What? What? what huh? <laughs> What's happening today? I was literally playing earlier today, and none of, none of, none of these disconnected. Why are you all disconnecting? I didn't even play a card this time. You don't even know what deck I'm playing. Um, well, okay, well, maybe the connection really did fail for them. Well, thank you for the match. Oh, let's cut it. <laughs> let's let's continue. I mean, I'll take them, I guess, but I want a duel. Traumatized, lol. Tra <laughs> maybe. Uh, Zodiac was meta once. Zodiac gave me nightmares before the nerf. Like, literal, actual Link nightmare? <laughs> or, man... Zodiac, I don't think I've ever played a Zodiac. Now, that being said, I only really started playing Yu-Gi-Oh! again recently. So I, there's there's some gaps in my knowledge. Like Zodiac, I don't think I've ever played. Uh, at the time, I was still kind of keeping up with it. I think... Ooh, it might be kind of old now. Like Dante. Dante, um... Brotherhood cards were pretty popular at the time. So it's a bit... Not that far back, but... It's Decently far back, I guess. Be honest with me. You're doxing them, aren't you? I'm not. I want to duel. I want to play my deck. I want to show off my cyber dragons. <laughs> Let's see. Oh, Juanito. Welcome back to the stream. Yo, love the drawing from the thumbnail. Thank you so much. Again, my lovely mama artist, uh, Ace. We also known as Waste on this channel. Drew it. Um, like speaking of, she drew another really cool art of... Um, myself in a different style and <laughs> when the when the right situation arises i'll i'll put it in the the stream and you guys can see it for yourselves it's so cool um no legit on my 20 hour chaos max run so many zodiacs destroyed me oh damn what did they well okay well let's, let's queue first but what kind of deck is that is that like a synchro deck is it a xc deck <laughs> Ooh, what's this? I see sun in there. I see three. Nowadays, you guys are going to have to tell me too, because like nowadays, do people prefer going second or first? I know there's like a lot of decks that vary, right? But like, what's the general consensus? Like, do you want to go first usually? I know Cyber Dragons, they want to go second, especially this deck with Lightning Storms, Cyber Dragon, obviously. But um, I know there's a lot of different decks, though. Let's see. Blue Eyes Chaos Max Dragon Ritual O to get. Ooh, that's cool. It worked against everything but Z Zodiac. Ooh. I understand that though. Sometimes the other player is just playing just the right deck um, to counter yours, and it's it, it's rough. But it happens, you know. There's a lot of players in Yu-Gi-Oh, so it'd be like that. Going first, yeah. Okay, I see. I mean, it makes sense, right? If you get your board out first, then I guess the opponent can't really do anything. Which I kind of like, I kind of like the speed of it sometimes, but I also really miss like the old times where you, you actually get to play your turns and like you got, you have to set up your board over time. So I guess for me, that was like the synchro era, but it still works nowadays, but there's definitely a lot more negates out there that you have to deal with. Ooh, what's this? With a Photon Advancer, too? Oh, he's going for the Photon Dragons. I, he, or I think he is. Uh, let's see. I started to follow your mom on Twitter. <laughs> just saying that out loud is really funny. It's a weird line to say if you weren't VTubers. This is true. But I love my art mama. She's great. 
She birthed me, you know. <laughs> I couldn't do this if without her help, so big praise to big old waste. Check out their work. It's really cool. They draw really cool stuff. And sell things, too, on Etsy. Oh, it's a Galaxy Photon deck? I, I like this. Okay, interesting. Uh, I see level fours out on the field, and I have a feeling an XE is coming. Ooh, Galaxy Knight, too. Hmm, this one's... Oh, it's four again. Oh, I thought it would tune it up to eight, because I think that's the point of photons, isn't it? Like, level eight exceeds. I think. Let's see. I'm not a VTuber, and it's rare for me to like a VTuber. Not as she the exception. Oh, well, thank you, Clack. I hope you um enjoy the channel for as long as we do it, you know? I appreciate that. That's the, <laughs> that's the entrance to the rabbit hole. It's just one VTuber at first. It's true. Once you find one, you start looking through others, and you're like, oh, this guy's kind of cool as well. He also plays games I like, and then it just kind of adds in. <laughs> then another and another one. It's true. I fell into that rabbit hole, too. It's I'm there too, trust me. <laughs> I have a lot, I have, a, I have plenty of Oshis. Maybe not plenty, I have a few Oshis that I really, really like. That's not to say the others I don't like, it's more like they're my main ones that I tend to watch. Uh, let's see. Also pray you don't find my Twitch kick or uni uh, YouTube channel, because things I say would put me behind bars for 40 years minimum. Yeah, some things <laughs> during stream get said. Um... You just have to improve on it, you know. Try to try your best to try to not say these things, I guess. But it's maybe that's part of your charm as a a tuber, you know. So, <laughs> oh, the VTuber rabbit hole. I know it. I've seen it. I'm in it. Okay, I wasn't really watching. I I don't really have a reply to anything, anyways. But I see a lot of photon cards, uh, galaxy cards. I don't know if any of these negate, though. I don't think they do, as far as I can see so far. Oh, there we go. Okay, something's coming. By the way, it'd be really funny if you had a black hole right now. Actually, funny thing you've mentioned that. Ooh. Oh, that's so cool. I've never seen this uh, Galaxy Eyes card before. That looks so tight. Oh, my God. Let's see. I don't think I have anything to worry about yet. Uh, so funny you mentioned that, actually. I have a lightning storm. It's like the turn to Dark Hole. Um, if you control no cards, you can activate one of them, which is a destroy all attack position monsters your con opponent controls, or destroy all spell and traps your opponent control. And that's pretty nasty, if you, I had to say so. Black, Black Hole is a little better because um, it just destroys everything, even in defense mode. But... Um, it depends how this guy will play. If he plays really aggressive and in attack position, I can wipe his field pretty quickly if he's not careful. So funny enough, my Cyber Dragons don't have any ashes in them either, which is somewhat okay, I think. I don't think I've ever... Because I want... I tend to go second, so... I don't think I've needed it. What's this? Okay. Oh, there's a negate. When an opponent's monster activates that effect, you can detach one material, negate it, and if it's a galaxy card, destroy it. Okay, so, hmm. During your opponent's turn, you can take one photon or galaxy, add it to your hand, or attach it. Uh, I don't like either of those. But luckily, I don't think that's a problem. Because we have Lightning Storm. And actually, that's good for us, because that still leaves one monster for us to Cyber Dragon into. The Cyber Dragon's whole shtick, the original card, is if your opponent controls a monster, and only they do, you can special summon the card from your hand, which is pretty nice. Uh, what is he doing? Oh, he's gonna search. Okay, that, that makes sense. Why not use it before it gets destroyed? I thought I'd misread it for a second. I thought he was gonna negate it somehow. I was like, uh, how? Oh, <laughs> uh, you better off playing more board wipes. Yeah, that's true. Wait a minute, why aren't you dead? Oh, uh, it cannot be destroyed by card effects. Of course it of course that's the case. Okay, um How do I get Oh, you know what? 
I think I have an idea. We have to get the core out. And now, is he gonna blossom me? No, I forgot about the original effect. I, okay, I, I misplayed. This is bad. Oh no! My core! Okay, that is a big problem. <laughs> I can't go into my cards. Um, and there's a Galaxy that has Photon Dragon. Now. That's fun. Okay. That's... I think I'm dead. <laughs> I don't think I have a way out of this one. But then again, I don't think I could have played anything else that would have worked in this case. Yeah, he already had the negate on the field. I don't think I would have been able to... Even if I did Gizmek to search. That would have been pretty... Bad. Let's see. Can you activate Core if you crash Hydra? Sydra? Uh, good question. Let's see. If only opponent control the monster. Mm, that might work. Let's see. Let's give it a try. Oh, wait, wait. I skipped my battle phase. I'm an idiot. No, I should have rammed it. Okay, well, I'm pretty sure I'm dead, but we'll see. <laughs> I don't have anything else to play here. Uh, let's see. Uh, you would get along with VTuber, I know. His name is Rita the Kiwi. Fun guy. Okay, cool. Well, um, if you'd like, feel free to link the channel in the chat. I'd love to, uh, pop in and take a look sometime. More friends are good. <laughs> Especially those that play the same games. I like, I would like to have more Yu-Gi-Oh friends as well. Uh, that was a good idea, Sea Lantern. I forgot that the secondary effect of uh, of Core would have been able to do something. I think if we had that happen, let's see. We could banish it to special summon a Cyber Dragon from our deck. Um, You know what? I think that would have gotten me a second Cyber Dragon. Not on, well, on the field. One on the field, but one in the grave, too. I don't think I would have still been able to do anything there. It's kind of a bummer. I kind of wish he had the Galaxy Soldier out there. Turn one still. That would have been pretty useful. Uh, not as she doing me. I can't link. I'm on the phone. Okay, no worries. Well, maybe some other time. I'll, I'll, I'll check out the name. Uh, I can't do you right now. I, we have a goal today, Clack, for now. We have to get to... Uh, oh, that's big. We have to get to um, max dual level for this cup. So, but perhaps later, if we make maybe we make our goal pretty quickly, we can give, certainly give that a try. So, but for now, we're gonna do the cup. Oh, there's a lot of level eights coming out there. This is cool though. I don't think I've ever seen a lot of these galaxy cards, and they seem really neat. Or the photon cards, I guess. I use Galaxy Soldier in our deck. Because it's it's a level five, it helps us get into Sea Dragon. What was the first one? Nova. We can get to Nova into that, which is pretty nice. Uh, I'm at max school level. How I use Numeron? Ah, Numeron, classic. I I had a d distinct hate for Numerons when I first played or get, got started getting back into it because. I had no idea what they did, but then suddenly there was like five monsters on their field and they keep ramming into you and they keep doubling. I'm like, uh, what do I do here? <laughs> you know, thinking about it, what are, what are cards that like you guys really, really like using that you, what you would consider you like staple cards that should be played in like every deck or like maybe splashed in. <laughs> For me, I think that card might be cuts on Numerons actually, and uh, other reasons. Magic Cylinder. Magic Cylinder actually does quite a bit for just a solitary one effect, a one off. But it's pretty, it's pretty good. Triple Tactic Talent. That's a good one too. Um, that one's already a staple. Uh, well, not maybe not a staple, but it's used in a lot of decks, right? It's actually in this deck too, so I do appreciate that card as well. Level seventeen is pretty tough, so it'll take a while. 
Oh, is that true? Okay, well, <laughs> we'll have to see then. <laughs> I got a... We got a climb. I think the event for stage one ends... Maybe next week? Something like that. Or it might not even be next week. It might be in a few days. We'll have to see... We have to climb though, because of that. You're you're taking a mighty long time, my good sir. I'm pretty sure I'm dead. Just smack me. <laughs> oh, he just wants to he just wants to show off everything. That's cool. I can appreciate that, especially with my Stardust deck. Um, I was lucky because I got DL Max. Um, because everyone I thought were bots or OTK and. Um, bad luck was on my side. I see. It, it'd be like that. I think this deck, this Cyber Dragon deck, technically is an OTK deck too. If you in under the right conditions, there's some dualities in this deck that let me switch out one of our Cyber Dragons when we're attacking, so we can get a few more extra attacks. Oh my goodness! What is happening? That's a lot of firepower. I can't do anything about that firepower. It would have been nice to if that lightning storm actually worked on the monster that I <laughs> wanted to get rid of, but you know, sometimes it'd be like that. It took you that long to destroy my one monster? <laughs> this is a cyber dragon, just hit it. Okay, there you go. Oh, you know what? I, I faced this one a bit earlier today too. Pretty nice. No, I died. <laughs> I think. Well, to be fair, the first two were scrubs. They, not not scrubs in the bad way, but scrubs as in they had to leave or surrender. So it was like a scrubbed match. Not not like actual people scrubs. I'm not. I'm not. A, I'm not mean. <laughs> I swear. <laughs> Um, hey, let's jump in again. But this time I didn't really have a way to get out. Like, oh, another Japanese player. Uh, kan Kane? Yoroshiku onegaishimasu, Kane san. Uh, we're going second. The Dragon Maid. Uh, Zexal and Ridiculously High Attack Point name. Name a better <laughs> duo, it's true. Zexal's monster is just. There's a lot of attack power. <laughs> Ooh, okay. I see a play already. So my favorite part about this deck so far is that uh, is this card, Clockwork Knight. So it changes everything into machine monsters on the field, and it gives my machine monsters a boost. But also, um, that clears the way for us to. Is this Giga Gaga Giga? Oh my God! Someone's playing this card. Oh, I this I appreciate this person so much more already. What is this? It's an Umi deck. This is a legendary ocean deck. That's so cool. Oh, this might be a legendary fisherman deck. Oh, I love this. Uh, <laughs> I want to see it work. Okay. Um, I forgot what I was talking about. I was too excited because the legendary fisherman is also another one of my favorite cards. And... Um, I know there was uh, the new La Legendary Fisherman 3, I think, was what I saw. I don't know how they work, but this is... It's cool to see again. Um, I think we want to break this. I think we're going to play... Oh, actually, wait, hold on. There might be a trap out there. Let's special summon Nashter first. And see if we can bait out any... Tran traps. Oh, maybe not. Oh, I have to set because of uh, this, huh? Okay, so let's do Clockwork Knight. Oh, I can't special summon because of this, huh? Did I get restricted? It might be this card. What is restricting me, actually? While Umi is on the field, you should play like one. Oh, I see. Interesting. Okay. Bloodgated. Um. 
Okay, I played that wrong then. I should have looked into what this did. I think I, what I wanted to do was impermanence this. But I can't do that first. Oh, I could have actually. Because I could play it from my hand if I didn't have any monsters. Well, that's awkward. <laughs> well, that's cool. I got to see it again. You got to impermanent during the start of your turn. Yeah, see, I just realized though. See, I'm learning though. I got to re learn all these new tactics from like um the new age right so uh my melfi mommy curve stomps any high attack melfis are fun they seem neat I, d I don't know if i'm gonna ever build them but i like seeing them played uh yeah literal floodgate <laughs> Mmm. I can't. I have to. I can't negate it because I have to. I have to let them. Let's see. Your opponent can't turn non water monster effects. Ooh. They really su added a lot of support for Umidex then. This is really cool. Oh no, I'm so dead. <laughs> Maybe not, we'll see. I just have to negate the Ocean Dragon Lord, I think, and then that should let me start up a little. I have this distinct feeling that they have a hand trap, and I don't think I'm going to be able to do anything about it. That's a card. Let's do this. Special summon waters. Well, it was field. Oh no. Okay, well that's fine, I guess. Actually, didn't he just get rid of the problem child? I think that might have been okay. The special summons Summon Cyber Dragon. And let's see. Yes. Okay. So we can give their monsters a little steal here. Chimera Trek Dragon. Let's go. Um, I think we're going to try to do as much damage as possible here as well. So let's get back. Nectar, and we're gonna get back our Cyber Dragon as well. I don't think that's enough to kill, though. Let's get a Cyber Emergency, too. See if we can grab something. Um... Just in case, let's get the Cyber Dragon again. Okay, now we attack. We can't attack because... He's gonna summon something. Okay. Ah, okay, it's a block. Oh, that's great. Then see Steel C Stealth attack. That's fun. Okay. Well, once we turn... Let's see, at the start of your damage step, if the water... Monster whose original levels five or higher battle uh, monster destroyed out votes also. Oh, that's fun. Okay. Let's see. A lot of Umi hand traps and traps too. No. That's awfully rude. But you know what? That's fine. Gonna borrow these. Okay. I think we've done what we can. I think I could have probably played that better. The stealth attack is kind of nasty. Let's see. Wait, I'm in the wrong. Tree Melfi boss is Zeus. Zeus is good. I don't get to use it that often, but Zeus is good. Oh, he tributed mine too. No, I don't want the Arkaiju. <laughs> 
I like I like the way they're playing though. This is so like something like this is really cool to me. I don't ever get to see like other things other than snake eyes or like what's up here right now. So this is I appreciate this a lot. It's a full on Umi deck. I never actually seen one work until now. This is cool. And the uh, sea stuff attack is really good. Now I'm at a, I'm at a second problem. I don't have any more. Um, Chimera Tech Fortresses to work with here. The core. Let's see, let's get rid of core. Try to bring out a Cyber Dragon. I made a mistake, I should have done this the opposite. Oh no, that would have worked the way. anyway. This is fine. It's fine. There's a negate on the field too, so we can let that happen. If I get a duality, I can try to bring everything back up here, but I can't really... Yeah, I don't think I got this. I'm gonna set this. Umi deck though, this is so cool. When did they release this support? I remember seeing the the legendary fisherman three, but I don't remember when that came out. Look at this! This is awesome. What's his name from the original series? M Mako Tsunami? He'd be proud. <laughs> then maybe this is what he played like after all the uh, time skips and everything. Now he's actually playing this and he's destroying everybody. No. Now they can direct attack. That's fun. <laughs> That's cool. I love their deck. Thank you for the duel. That was a fun one to watch and play. Well, darn. I'm maybe I'm playing this. I'm actually, you know, honestly, I'm probably am playing the Cyber Dragon deck wrong. <laughs> I just have to learn by playing it directly. Uh, it was two years ago. Oh, for real. That's so cool. I haven't, like, the most recent things I've seen played, or not played, um, released, at least as far as support goes, was the, ah, uh, what was it? It was the Gate Guardian cards, and those are also really cool to me. I wouldn't mind playing those as well. Actually, I have the IRL deck because I got some boxes for that, but I never got to play them with anybody. Okay, not the worst hand, but at least we have some imperms. Uh oh, they're disconnecting. Oh, there we go. Oh no! Whenever I see, <laughs> whenever I see this card, I'm concerned. Top of Ace. They're cooking something, and they have a fifty creek. 53 card deck. It might be Exodia. Lord of D. Dragons? Dragon Exodia? Let's see. Well, in this card is normal summon. Discard one swallow trap. Add a flute. Uh, we, we do have two imperms. We might as well just use one now, I guess. Don't exactly want them adding anything to their hand. Such a... <laughs> such a cool card. Let's see, he has three cards in hand. I can almost bet one of these is a... A hand trap. Um, let's just go for the emergency. Even if I am permanent that these two, they're... 
is definitely still something out there. Oh, we went through. Well, don't mind if I do that. I'm going to take Cyber Dragon. <laughs> Lord of D. Yep, that's him. That's the one. Um, This isn't too good because I don't exactly have... Maybe, actually, you know what? I maybe should have went core to special or like to search. I can duality into Chimera Tech Rampage, but... Maybe should I just do it? Yeah, why not? Let's do it. Uh, need to head out. Good luck. Oh, thank you for popping in, Juanita. I appreciate you always popping in. And, uh, yeah, good luck to you as well. Ha have a good day at work. I'll talk to you later. Okay, we can get Regulus out now. And we can put a Cyber Dragon here. That's going to be useful because... We have two Cyber Dragons out now. And that should let us do some shenanigans here. Um, You know what? Let's do this. We still have a play. We can use Chimera Tech to send some dragons to our graveyard. Let's do these two. I don't think I'm playing this wrong. I think that sounds about right. Yeah, the hers effect. Okay, and with hers, we're gonna probably search just a regular cyber dragon. Or if we want, we could get the core. Now let's get a regular cyber dragon. It's gonna be nice. In fact, that will let us galaxy soldier. He has something in his hand. I don't know what it is. Or it's something, a quick play on the field, maybe. We're going to add a Galaxy Soldier to our hand. There we go. And this should let us go into Nova. There we go. So Nova will let us hopefully special summon another Cyber Dragon through his effect. Nice. Okay. So let's move Chimera Tech down. Bring out the regular Cyber Dragon. Waiting on him though. Okay. And now we can go into Infinity. If luck allows, we're going to yoink his monster. And hopefully attack him for game. Or maybe, no, no, that's not game. Close to game, though. Thinking about something, though. We do have a duality in our graveyard, too. If we need to recycle our Chimera Tech or Hurts again. Okay, Infinity is going to try to take Lord of D, or King of D instead. Okay, okay, sweet. So I think this will 
I think that'll do it. Let's go with this for now and see how we do. Mirror Force? That'd be funny. That'd be a uh, classic card. Oh, True Light. Uh, you can special summon to Blue Eyes, right? I think. Yeah. I think I'm going to know that just so we don't get a Blue Eyes suddenly on the field. You can have your Lord of V back. In hindsight, I probably shouldn't give those cards back, though. I should actually keep them so I restrict them from using it, right? I set that and end the turn. Ichimai seto turn endo da. Playing with his D. <laughs> no. <laughs> While it is true, no. Uh, I don't want him to spiral fusion anything either. Sorry, mate. Let's see. Eliminate, exterminate, eradicate. Oh, those are the, the Evil Swarm things, right? Yeah, Evil Swarm Heliotrip read backwards. I thought it was always cool that they did that. And the dragon gain attack. That's not too bad. I think he's cooking something. That'd be funny. Okay, I think this might be GG for him. I'm sorry, my friend. I have to take your dragon. And go Regulus. Yaha! We did it. We got a match. Thank you for that match, Paloma. Appreciate it. Yeah, the Evil Swarm. I think the Evil Swarm, at least the ones that had the flavor text, so I guess the normal cards, they all read backwards, I think, right? I think they were a hidden arsenal card, right? Now that I think about it. Uh, okay, let's go to the main menu. Have we gone up in level? We, I think we went one. Yeah, we started at twelve, right? So we got thirteen. This is good. Uh, you know what? Let's let's shake things up a bit. Uh, let's change it. To our Stardust deck for now. Let's see how we do. I honestly, to be fair though, I think the the Cyber deck deck might have a bit more runtime versus my Synchron deck. It has a bit more ways to deal with imminent threats, you know. Now my Synchron deck, I'm pretty sure is a go first deck. So let's see what we can do. The lore is wild. It's true. Yu-Gi-Oh! has some of the coolest art and lore for any sort of card game, I think. Then again, there are a lot of card games out there that are awesome, too. Just as awesome. Just so... Uh, let's get rid of our converter. I don't think they have a... Response, maybe? We added the... Con we sent the converter so we can get a Synchron. I don't think it was hidden in Arsenal. Is that true? Oh, I might be wrong then. If that's the case, my bad. Okay, here we go, y'all. I'm sorry, Entropy. You're going to have to deal with my shenanigans for a little bit here. But I'm going to go as fast as possible. Let's go, Junk Speeder. Okay. I, I have to focus away from the comments for now because... This is going to be a turn. <laughs> um, let's see. Start all Synchron, we can add... We have a right event light already. Oh, it's Nibiru! No! <laughs> it's Nibiru! <laughs> well, that's... Incredibly disappointing. I can still add the status elimination though. Let's see. Well, no need to focus anymore. Ain't that the truth? Ah, uh, I could go into a crimson dragon actually. 
Actually, he did send them all to the graveyard. Let's make a play. Let's try making a play. I'm gonna put out Junk, junk Synchron. Uh. Ooh, actually. Yeah, let's do the salt. Okay. Luckily, this lets us go into our Crimson Dragon still. Which lets us get Synchro World. Okay. Next problem. Um, we gotta find a way to Synchro. <laughs> Level two, level. Let's get warm. Okay, now we can play Arrive in Light. Put that on top. Actually, maybe I shouldn't have done that. I might have to use something else first. Hmm. You can get Worm and Synchron, I think. No, I milled my... No! <laughs> I don't want to mill that. No! I'm an idiot. It's fine. Everything is fine. Don't worry about it. Aww. <laughs> okay, well, let's see. Level four, if we piece it to eight. Yeah, that could work. I guess that'll have to do. Move Synchron. We go into a Baron. Not exactly the play I wanted to make because I just misplayed there, but it's okay. Might as well draw a card too while we're at it. Our pity draw. <laughs> Ooh, tuning. I'll take it. Let's get rid of Nibiru. Let's see, can we activate anything else? No, we're good. Okay. On the turn. Alright, that's all. that wasn't too bad. We still managed to get a Baron Defleur out on the field. And that's going to help us mitigate anything that's coming at us. So, we'll see. Oh, it's a cyber stack. Ooh, cool. Uh, let's see. I'm gonna mash that. Then say so rudely. They so rudely, um. Nibiru us. I think he just baited me, though. We'll see. You might have just baited me out of that entire thing. Yeah, see? Okay. Let's see what he comes up with. It's the math mechs. Okay, we have a few Stardust Synchrons in the graveyard, though. We might be able to play with. If anything... I might have... Another way into... Speeder again. We'll see. They always have circular, do they? They probably do. <laughs> they have a lot of ways around things. Okay, they, they're gonna go for another exceed. Or tuner. Okay, we'll see then. Let's see, I'm... I can go... Oh, why did I... <laughs> I forgot about the mill effects. Ooh, Splash Mage. That's cool. Here they go. This deck teaches you that 2 equals 5. <laughs> I can see it. I can totally see it. Oh, there's a Transco Talker.
Okay, let's think about a way to get out of this. I can't go into Majestic really anymore because I freaking nailed my own Majestic Dragon like an idiot. Can I retrieve that? I don't think I have a way to retrieve that, actually. Which is kind of awk. Look at all the stuff they summon still. <laughs> it's ridiculous. Oh, Link 5. Two equals five. I thought two equals fish. That's a lot of attack power. That's a lot of attack power. Oh my goodness. Okay, well, I misplayed that. <laughs> no! <laughs> That's a good dual entropy. Nice fight. Let's try that again. Ah, uh, the, the player that just happens to have the Nibiru. It'd be like that, though. Oh, Stratos icon? Not icon, um... Pet? That's awesome. Is it called a pet in this game? I don't know what it is. I feel like a dual model or something. Dual buddy. I think it was dual buddy. Dual pal. One of them, too. <laughs> okay, let's see what we got. Um, this is pretty good. We can search both our carrier and our... Uh-oh, Castieras. <laughs> Here we go. Yep. That sounds all right. Okay. Uh, just take me, Castiera. <laughs> That's the other deck I played a lot today. Tier Elements, Castiera. Snake Eyes. Diabelle. I don't know what to really do in these situations. It's like so, I don't. I can only assume the top tier decks have like at least four or five different ways to get out of a, a, a bad situation, <laughs> whereas my Rinky Dink decks only have like one or two, maybe. Is Castira a tech or an engine? I feel like it's an engine. Uh oh. That looks like a boss monster. Hmm. Wow, three set cards. They're probably all equipped cards that are T-Element related. <laughs> Let's see, they are both, since most of them don't lock you. I see. Hmm. Yeah, it looks like a self... For, from what I understand, they do like self-milling to try to search for cards, and it's kind of nasty. I sure wish I had a lightning storm right now. That'd be pretty nice. Yeah, there's no way I'm gonna win this one with that kind of setup to start. <laughs> I mean, I'm gonna play this and it's immediately gonna get canceled, I'm sure. Oh, there it is. Negate the activation. Yeah. They gotta fix this. <laughs> this is so many ways to...
I don't know. Like, I think the the master duel uses a different ban list than uh CCG, right? Excuse me. Excuse me again. All right, number two. They probably have another one set. Oh, they don't. Now the problem is... Not much I could do here still. There is almost certainly some sort of negate in that lineup over there that's going to stop me from playing all this. But I can't do anything else anyway, so let's just go for it. There's another one. Oh, great. I can't do now. <laughs> this is so fun. Yeah, that seems about right. Yes, I think they gotta... That's one of the things I think about Yu-Gi-Oh! that needs to still be um, addressed. Like... Hand traps aside, since that became a thing, like... I think they have to be more proactive about their... their ban list, because this is not okay. Like, this is... How is this fun for anybody? <laughs> Maybe for professional players this is fun, but, like, this is... I don't know. It just decks have different speeds. I suppose that's true. Oh look, another negate. This is this is the thing though. Like, if you're able to do this turn one, there's nothing you can do. Like, what am I supposed to do about this? But then again, again, I guess this is the dual cup. People want to win, so it's, they can't really help but play like something like this. Otherwise, what's the point? Cool. Well, that's fine. That's uh, that's what I think, though. Like they need to be a bit more proactive with their ban list. The <laughs> draw out, lol. I'm gonna draw it out, I guess. I mean, what am I supposed to do? I'm not gonna surrender. <laughs> They might as well just destroy me. Just draw two evenly matches. That's true. There isn't siding. There's like these aren't two out of the th two out of three though. That's the thing. I can't exactly. Unless there is a format that lets you side, but. But also, welcome back, Dustin. I hope you're having a wonderful day. What are you up to? Hope everything's good. Man! Well, Kasumi, I can safely say I'm pretty sure you won. There's no side deck format in Master Duel, just working. Nice. Very cool. Glad, glad to hear. And yeah, I figured. I mean, that would make duels much, much longer, right? If you could side deck. Well, you know what? I have to assume someone in the world is having fun playing this deck, so that's fine, I guess. <laughs> yeah, in hindsight, I can't really play this Synchro Stardust deck in something like this because I think everyone's going to be playing more up-to-speed decks, I think. Who designed these cards? <laughs> Man. How have we still not killed you? Yeah, dude, you have a full field. <laughs> it's just an assault synchro. <laughs> there you go. It'd be pretty easy. 
There you go. Good job. <laughs> Good duel either way. We'll try our best next time. Uh, okay, well, that's fine. Okay, that's just telling me I do have to stick with Cyber Dragons, I think. So let's go back. Uh, where is our Cyber Duck? Pretty sure it's this one. No, that's not it. That's the one. Okay. There you go. Let's try that again. Maybe with a little more success this time. I get the I get the argument that there's like different speeds for decks, but like No, there's nothing to say, I guess, because again, it is a it is a competitive cup that you're playing in right now. You people are gonna play top tier to try to win, so it's what it is. We can play funny shenanigans with the chat and like our low rank matches, so it's okay. What's this? Castira? Oh no! What is a what a shocker! It's a it's back. <laughs> is it tier elements too? Man, Kashiras are so silly. There's another Kashira. Oh, big Kashira. Okay. I miss having like a, an encyclopedic knowledge of what cards are what. Back in the synchro area, like that was um, something I could do. I could look at a card and be like, "Oh, I remember what this does." I can figure out a way around it. But now there's just too much reading to do. Everything has at least two effects. Every other card has some sort of negate effect. <laughs> And then there's th these guys who just ban, like, your monster zones, I guess. I'm cooked? I probably am. It is the nature of this game, after all. Turn one kills. With what I have, I don't think I really have a way out of this. Oh, look, another Shangri-La. Maybe if I pull out a... What's it called? Clockwork Knight, you may be able to move these. Uh, let's see. Banish. Get a uh, card effect. Detach a material. What do you do? If it affects the Sacks of Axe, actually, you get to exceed something. Oh great, I banish cards too. That's that's gonna be fun. Hmm <laughs> I can't really use that, can I? I'm gonna banish my own cards. Let's see, not really, just that the decks you're playing are um hold on, sorry. Let me the chat is being covered by the heart thing. Are on different tempos compared to the tiered decks. I guess so. You're right. That's true. Um, I, this is probably gonna get negated. Yep, there's Ash. Let's see. Yeah, this one's a uh, pretty. 
like what am I supposed to do there? I'm, it, part of my effects are also banishing. Like, I can't exactly banish eight cards and give him another material. Mm. Let's try getting Nectar out. <sighs> Yeah, uh, you're pretty much screwed at this point. It's true. <laughs> I already can tell. This is already banishing my entire field. Not really much I can do. Alright, let's summon Core. The Core's cute. <laughs> I'd say they're meta decks. I agree. I got nothing in my graveyard, so that's fun. I guess we could try for it. Go for a seeker. Oh good, he could banish his materials to banish one card face down. That's fun. Oh, the Yu-Gi-Oh is fun. <laughs> Man, this is... As far as... Okay, so like, I I don't mind... Again, I don't mind playing... These kind of tiered decks, but it's just not fun. I'd rather face like the Umi deck that we played earlier. That was really cool. I'd rather see something like that, you know? Ah, whatever, I'll just banish more. <laughs> Let's see... Uh, that's why I said higher level Duelist Cups is hard. Yeah, that makes sense. Let's see, Special Summon Expansion, Unlimited, Melfi, Special Summon. You like your Melfis a lot, huh? <laughs> yeah, I can see why. And then, of course, they take... Oh, wait, it's my turn. There we go. Maybe I should just make a really annoying deck. Is that what I should do? I can just play a whole trap deck with magic cylinders and everything. Should we do that? You know what? That would be kind of fun. A fun experiment to do. Maybe we could deck build and like... Make a full... Um, mirror forest trap hole. The whole works. Magic Cylinder deck. special summon. Sounds about right. Let's see. Ten bucks this doesn't go through. Wow. What a shocker. Kishira overlap. <laughs> yeah, 
Yeah, well, that's what it is. Okay, well, let's see what we can do. Let's fake him out with some set cards and then end the turn. <laughs> Ooh, build one bad day. <laughs> I think I heard of that card. Last time I remember reading Anigans. You know what? After this duel, we're making a fun deck. That will just annoy the heck out of everybody. I think bouncing is too slow now, right? So... We have to... Now, actually, funny enough, I don't think I have enough traps of the original traps that I want to run to do something like this. So... Let's see. There's something... Let me think. gonna just make everything annoying for the enemy team I have a I, okay I have a I'm bringing something nasty in my brain but it's probably not gonna work but it'd be still pretty fun to try I do. It's the same people all the time. It's the Castiras, the tier limits that take like 50 days to take a turn for just one, <laughs> one Cyber Dragon. Oh, cool. They can attack in defense mode too. Yu-Gi-Oh. <laughs> Why can't... Wasn't attacking in, in defense mode the whole shtick for like super heavy... The whole, the whole super heavy um, archetype. Why why are scare claws doing this? It doesn't, it's, Konami, please. <laughs> My dude, you don't have to play this seriously. Just to kill it and be on with your day. <laughs> Yeah, you know what? Let's just get out of here. This is boring for everyone involved. <laughs> yeah, that's just stupid. That's <laughs> just stupid. Like, what are we going to do? There's nothing we can do. Can't you just surrender? I, I don't... Usually, I like letting them run their turns just to see what they can do. It's fun to see, but... Yeah, in that point, it's just like, okay, you're taking way too long to do this. Let's just do something else. So yeah, that's fine. Uh, okay, we're gonna make the most annoying deck ever. Uh, chat, let's do it. Okay, first of all, okay, we're gonna start with magic cylinders because clearly, nothing would. <laughs> Nothing is more annoying to be um, thought by a magic cylinder. That would be a stun deck. Stun deck, I there is a certain point where a stun deck is... You know what? Actually, maybe we should. <laughs> At this point, I'm kind of like, okay, we, maybe we should just stun them to death. So let's get... I don't have a skill drain? I don't have a skill drain. Wow, okay, that's sad. Um... Run trap hole. We're just gonna be as annoying as possible. 
Then again, everything that Link summons now, like... <laughs> one bad day. One bad day. Okay, we can look into it. Everything that gets summoned nowadays, though, it's usually underneath 15 until the boss monster, which can negate it, right? Floodgate wouldn't be bad. We could put it to face down. Let's see. One bad day. Is it not here? Did I do it? Did I do it wrong? I don't see it, so I guess it's not a card. Oh, <laughs> I don't look. I don't know, man. I there's so many new cards out there. I don't know what everything that's out there anymore. Uh, evenly. Oh, we don't. We don't even have evenly. Uh oh, Marsh. Oh, we don't have Marshmallow. You know what? Marshmallow's going in there. We're gonna be as annoying as possible. Let's see. Uh, what else is annoying? Returning stuff to their hand isn't exactly very good, is it? I, right now I'm thinking of Penguin Knight, but... The Penguin Soldier. What do you think, guys? I think I think Penguin Soldier wouldn't do too bad. Would be, would be kind of bad, wouldn't it, actually? Oh, it's a fan given name for a stun deck. <laughs> That's fun. Oh, I get it. That's cool. I like that. Necro Valley. Necro Valley wouldn't be bad. Oh, you know what? We could do. I'm going to put these in here for now just as a placeholder, but I think we could maybe play them. Uh, What's it called? Dimension. Yeah, Fissure. God, this deck's gonna be so annoying. But we don't also don't have any draw power. Oh, you know what? We could use the triples for that. Don't have that many triple cards, but at least we can maybe use them. Uh Necro Valley. I don't know if I have any copies. Yeah, it's in yeah, you are. Are there cards out there that can reset monsters? I'm sure there are. I just can't think of them at the moment. Pot of Desires? We do have one. Banish top 10. Based on draw two cards. Uh, you know what? That's some draw power. That, that could work. Play an extra pot too. Why not? <laughs> the deck is, this deck is already ridiculous. Um, what are our trap cards that we own? Let's see. What is a really annoying to deal with when you run into it in, in Dual X? Mirror Force. There we go. <laughs> there we go. Now we're cooking. Uh, sca scrap Iron Scarecrow. We can negate an attack. Oh my god, I feel dirty playing this. Drowning Mirror Force. We could shuffle them back to their decks. But part of... What's our, what's our win con? We have to think about our win cons. Torrential Tribute, that's a classic one too. Threatening War is good too. We could delay them. Uh, I, I play that in a different deck actually, so that's... Perfect. Torrential. I think right now it's looking like we're playing effect damage, right? Uh, Destroy all monsters on the field. Uh, Torrential's actually not bad. Torrential's not bad because we can clear the field, but the thing is we also want to keep our marshmallow on so we stay safe, right? Maybe. What else is annoying? Man eater. <laughs> this is so this is such a dumb deck. There's no way we're gonna win anything, but it's gonna be funny. Oh, Battle Fader, that's not bad. Well, okay, here's the thing. We're getting delay cards, but we don't exactly 
have ways to win right now. Let's see. Uh, Paleozoic. I remember seeing that in Duel Links. I don't remember what they do exactly. And this one was really annoying to deal with. Once we're chained when trap card is activated. Well, this card is in your graveyard. Oh, I know. We can do... Um... That might clog up the field, but we'll see. have to see about it. Uh, Ring of Destruction? That's not that bad. Oh, you know what? Monster side, we can do um, Doom Cow. Yeah, we got two. Okay, that works. Uh... The, oh, Dinocepho Patchelo is another one. Oh, yeah, Crow's mentioning it right now. I see. So we could do that, maybe. Battle Fader, that's a good one. We have that in there now. So. Uh, tr -tr 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 ring. What else does effect damage? I know Secret Barrel is another one that's pretty popular. Um, during your opponent's turn, target one face up monster your opponent controls whose attack is less than. Or equal to their LP. Destroy it. Take a damage. Oh, that's not bad. Target one face up monster whose opponent oh, your opponent controls whose attack is less than or equal to their LP. And then we finish them off with uh the magic cylinder. Yeah, that sounds solid. Let's do that. <laughs> oh my god, this is disgusting. <laughs> Uh, let's look up secret barrel gun. Secret barrel. Uh, two hundred for each card in their hand, and they control. That's pretty good. Okay, you, we can reduce some of this, I guess. Then, in that case, um, I feel gross making this, but this is pretty fun. Uh, let's see. Ceasefire. Oh, Ceasefire is a good one. That one's pretty old, too. That one's fun. Oh, it's SR, though. Mm. I don't think we can play it. I don't have enough uh, TP for it. That wouldn't be bad, though. I have to keep that in mind. Uh, Lava Golem's not bad either. Let's do that. We just need more ways to stop what's happening, I guess. Uh, the rest isn't bad. You know what? Actually, in hindsight, I don't think we can play the triples. Because... They're gonna see us set, and then they're not gonna... Re they're not... I don't think they're gonna actually play anything. For their main phase, right? I think. In hindsight, they probably will just see me set things and then won't react to it because there's nothing to react to. So, you know what? I'm going to take out. I'm going to take out the tactics, maybe. You know what? No, we'll do. We'll do one of each. We'll, we'll try it first. Um, battle faders will stop the battles, but. We don't exactly get to draw. Um, oh, you know what? There was an old Yusei card that was draw and a draw like a uh, negator. Um, I think it was defense draw. Oh, let's go. I still remember my cards. Okay, so make a battle damage zero draw a card. That sounds pretty good, right? So let's. This what straight up. End the battle phase. So let's do. We're running out of slots. <laughs> That's kind of an issue. We'll take out a penguin and a man eater, and we'll put in some defense draws. Is the Mirror Force worth it? 
if we're if we're trying to counterattack them, we don't exactly want to destroy the monsters, right? I'm gonna take it out for now. Oh, don't don't generate that. I want a defense draw. There you go. Uh, let's see. Waking the dragon. Let's check out that. And just desserts and it's a trap. Yeah, this. Just desserts might be good too. Uh, if this set card is in its owner control, left behold, well, you can special summon one monster from your deck. Actually, that's cool. I like that. I'd never heard of this card, but I don't think it'll work in this case. Um, just desserts. I think that was just um. Five hundred for each monster, right? Yeah. Okay. So, I don't have enough. Unfortunately, it's an SR. It's funny. They know it's a pretty decent card, so they have to SR it. Okay, so I guess we can't chest desserts for now. I think, is this what we have to deal with for the time being? I don't know if there's any other... What's this? Loop of destruction. Bring destruction on the field. Once per turn, if a monster on the field is destroyed by a card effect, you target one monster on the field, destroy it, and each player takes 500. That's... Eh. Not quite what we need. The Phoenix change will help at least keep us defended for a little bit. There's a spell that um, taxes you for activating a card in hand. I don't remember the name though. I feel like I know what you're talking about, dude, but I don't remember what the name of it is either. Let's do a... Uh, is there a, a, fil a better filter for this? Let's see. Effect damage, maybe. Quick play, continuous. Ooh, the filter is not as good. I think the... Actually, I think the filter in Duel Links might be better in that regard, then. Um, there's a spell that taxes you for activating a card in hand. I, I feel like I know what you're talking about. I can't remember the name of it off the top of my head, though. Energy chain? Is that it? Let me see. Oh, there you go. Magic energy shackles. It's not, it's not chain energy. I think it's not, I think it's chain energy. You, what you're talking about, Crow. Yeah, that's, because that's exactly what it sounds like when we pulled it up here. Let me see, uh, chain energy. Each player must play 500 to normal, special, set, or activate cards from their respective hand. Yeah, that's good. Um... I don't think we need... You know, actually, no. In hindsight, the dimensional fissure might work. The image say I found says another name. It's that one. Yeah. Okay. Uh, anti spell fragrance might be pretty good too. Actually, not a bad idea, Dustin. Um, that would slow them down. I, that, you know, I, I'm I'm willing to bet though that's probably a SR card though. Anti spell. Yeah, it is. Okay, so I can't play that unfortunately. I don't have enough. Uh, mats for that. You know what? We're going to reduce our dimensional fissures. One of these. and Let's try this. Generate two for now. Maha, Maha, Mahama? Let's see. This one? Let's see. During your opponent's turn, when either player takes battle damage, you can special summon this card from your hand. Gain. Oh, that is very useful. The thing is, though, it is SR, sadly. I'm going to keep this one in mind. This one's actually definitely something we can use at some point. Mahama the Fairy Dragon. You know what? I'm going to take a picture. I 
Okay, that'll make it useful. Uh, what's the equip slot that makes your attack 100 over the attacking monsters? Is it Metal Morph? That sounds like Metal Morph. I think it might have been. No, it does. It's not Metal Morph. There's another one. I know. Wait, I, I I remember you, not you talking about. It. I remember that card somewhere. I don't remember what the name is though. Is that what it is? Moon Mirror Shield. Let's see. Ah, yeah. There you go. Is it worth playing the equip cards though? Is the thing. I think it would work actually, wouldn't it? For maybe I th the marsh putting it on a marshmallow would be pretty funny. Should we just forego the triple ta tactics then? I guess it's not worth it. You don't think so? You know what? In hindsight. I like the idea, Dustin, but the thing is, I think Sea Lantern might be right because if we're playing all these traps, we need spaces to place them. And what we're playing right now are mostly defensive and bounce, so I don't think we'll hopefully not run into in a situation where we have to use this. Um, fair. Yeah, I think the Doom Cows actually might not be something we need either. We just add another Man Eater. And penguin. Right? I think that should do. The marshmallows should protect us, so that's gonna be real nice. That's the cauldron of the old man. Oh wow, they've made a different card that isn't I think poison of the old man. That's crazy. When it's activated, place a counter once per turn. During your standby, place a counter on this card. Ooh. I'm not sure what the wind condition is you're going for. I don't know, honestly, either. I think we're just trying to be as annoying as possible. Uh, This could work. I think the wind condition is damage. And this is rare, actually. This should, this might actually be better than the chain energy. No, you know what? We were, we, I think we, we would die too quickly if we're going to rely on the continuous spells, though. Or maybe not. You know what? We'll put one in. Okay. Uh, we need to put some extra deck cards for our Pot of Prosperity. Three or six. So let's just go through our Synchro <laughs> list. We'll make it a very intimidating looking. going one deuce <laughs> well it's so intimidating looking but it's the most annoying deck ever you know what let's just try this first and let's see how it does oh my god what a, what have we just made chat <laughs> what have we done Ooh, nice okay let's go into the duelist cup Okay, most annoying deck ever. Let's go. Here we go. Let's let's try to win chat. <laughs> oh no, what have we done? Can your D level drop? <laughs> I'm starting to think it might be possible. Oh, we're going first. Let's go. I think that's what we want what we want too. We can set our all our traps and everything first. Okay. Not bad. Not bad start. Let's see. Secret Bro was every card in their hand, right? Let's see. Pot of Desires. Do we need it now? Yeah. Let's just use it. Why not? <laughs> Whatever you got rid of. Oh, uh, I don't. Yeah, let's go. Chain Energy. <laughs> <laughs> if we if we somehow win this, I'm gonna be really impressed. I should have said that before playing Chain Energy. I'm stupid. <laughs> this guy's probably like, "What the hell is this dude playing?"
Did we get rid of our magic cylinders? Actually, I really hope not. Oh, we got rid of one. Uh oh. Woohoo! Take 500! <laughs> Still have the blue eyes deck. Okay. Take another 500! <laughs> Wait, chain energy. Wait a minute. Chain energy is OP. What the heck? <laughs> Okay, the Phoenix Chain should protect us from any shenanigans, maybe. Hopefully. We'll see. Blue Eyes, we got this, lol. <laughs> oh, he's playing another one. What's happening? Oh, it's another Chain Energy. <laughs> Wait, what the heck? Chain Energy is OP. We should be, we should play, be playing more of this. He's already taken 1,500. <laughs> Blue Eyes Abyss. Okay, okay. Add that card to your hand. That's fine. Oh my god. Chat, what have we done? <laughs> what have we done? Oh, it's another 500! Drawing two. That's six cards. Should I should I use the, the secret barrel? It should be six twelve hundred already. Ooh. <laughs> this is so funny. Wait, we should use more chain energy. This is amazing. <laughs> yeah, yeah, take your cards. Uh, they still have six cards. Oh. He's sending cards. <laughs> this shouldn't be working. This shouldn't be working as well as it is right now. What does he got? Let's see. Inflict double piercing damage. Battle damage to your opponent. That is kind of bad. Okay. First off, we have to stop that thing. Defense draw, baby! <laughs> Let's go, the synergy! It's happening, chat! <laughs> Wait, do you not know what Marshmallow does? Oh no. <laughs> oh my god, why is this working? Why is this working? I mean, okay, it's a blue it's a blue eyes deck. I guess that it's a little easier to deal with. Oh yes, add the card to your hand, please. <laughs> Dustin, <laughs> Dustin, are you seeing this? <laughs> this, is, this shouldn't be working. Secret barrel, baby. <laughs> it's so stupid. It's working though. <gasps> you guys, the the the, 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 the everything has aligned. The stars have aligned. Wait, I can use the image now. Hold on. Oh! <laughs> I am... I've become Jojo. <laughs> it's happening. <laughs> Let's go. I popped up my collar. I've gone edgy. Let's see what they can do. <laughs> oh, it's happening. What is happening? <laughs> the feeling when you play one bad day hit different. <laughs> I mean, I don't think this is exactly one bad day, but you know. Uh oh, what do you got? Oh, is he gonna? You're targeting the marshmallow, not the, not the lava golem. Interesting. Okay, they upset low. <laughs> they might be a little upset. I'd be upset too if I had to play this. I'd be like, are you kidding me? <laughs> Is this real? <laughs> but sometimes the most annoying decks are the most effective ones. And you know what? I'm seeing I'm seeing the value of uh the chain energy at the moment. You don't think you could target uh, the lava golem? Let's see. Yeah, it's an opponent control. That's funny, you're right. <laughs> they should have saved that for their turn, it's true. You are correct, sir. <laughs> oh my 
god, chain energy is getting so much value. What is happening? We gotta. Oh my god, we need to. This is like a three in slot now. We gotta play this. We gotta play three copies. Ooh, it's a jet dragon. That's cool. I don't think I've seen this one. It's tight. Does he? Does it pierce? Is, he, is that why he's boosting? Oh no! My marshmallow! But wait! There's more! Hi! <laughs> I don't know what to say, chat. <laughs> this, that shouldn't be working. Nice. We got a win in <laughs> two cup because of this silly deck. Okay, hold on. No, no. We got to make some edits. Um, uh, where is that most annoying deck ever? Let's see. So I'm playing three of these now. This is a lot better than I thought it would be. Um, dimensional fisher. We could. Five hundred for each counter. I think we can. Wait, what other cards are there that... Hold up, let me do some searching here. Can't be destroyed by battle. No, you can't do it like that, huh? Okay, um... Doesn't Spirit Reaper work, actually? Spirit Reaper. I just remembered, um... Wave Motion Cannon. Wave Motion Cannon is good, too. Um... Yeah, we're here to delay, so I don't think we need the as many of these as we think. We're going to put three away and put three Reapers. Let's see. Wave Motion Cannon I also do like, but the thing is I don't know if we have a slot for that right now because we need a perfect amount of defense and attack here. The triple tactics... I think actually we can get rid of you know what why not let's see oh we have one okay that's perfect that, it's an sr2 so i can't exactly craft it but we do have one okay let's go chat <laughs> here we go dual two let's update our deck uh let's see this shouldn't be working. What is happening? There's man eating man eater bug. Oh, there's this. That's wasn't that like the five star one, and it does like destroys two. Uh, let's see. Copy from my deck. <laughs> oh my god, this deck. Okay, let's try again. I hope we face a Castiria a turn two, though. That way we can at least play our our card. Sakana, fish. Hello, Sakana-san. Onegaishimasu. Isho ni ganbarimasu yo. Let's do our best together. Okay, let's see. What, what kind of shenanigans are we dealing with here? It looks like a normal deck. Uh, I don't have a way to stop anything if they put everything out, so. This is definitely a go first deck. <laughs> oh, Sword Soul. Okay, that's cool. I'm okay with Sword Soul. They're, they're neat. Uh, let's see. There's a retrain that can't be destroyed by a battle that I can't remember, that I don't remember. Ooh, if you find out, let me know. We could take a look into that, too. I like the designs of the sword, the sword souls. They look really cool. And it's a Baron. If this card is sent to the graveyard as a synchro, deal damage. You should run this card. <laughs> but we need sword souls for that to work. Um, he doesn't have enough have enough to lava golem though, which is kind of awk.
Okay, so we could at least bait out the... We can bait out the Baron Renegade with, uh... What's it called? Penis Chain. Oh, he's gonna destroy something first, though. Guerrero! He's gonna probably negate it, though. Oh, he didn't. Surprising. Okay, well, we still have the Fiendish to bait out. Yeah, there we go. Okay. Now we can get rid of the Baron. It's a penguin soldier. Surprise. <laughs> oh, they ended their phase. They didn't play anything. Play a spirit reaper. We're going to nibble at their toes. Woohoo! We get to discard one of their cards. <laughs> this is so dumb. <laughs> okay. Well, we discarded one of their cards. Was it a critical card? It might have been, actually. Heavenly, he uh, Heavenly Dragon Circle. Interesting. Oh, what's this? Oh, it's that one card. God, this takes me back. See, this is like old school Yu-Gi-Oh! like playing. I don't mind playing it like this. It's fun. And if we're going to get negated all day, we might as well have fun, right? So, let's see. Sword Soul. It's just another Synchro. It's more Moyer! Where's Juanito? <laughs> His wife's here. Okay, she shall. I don't know if it's actually pronounced like that. Don't quote me. Um... Oh, he's gonna negate the Reaper. That'll destroy it, I think, too. Because I think if it, yeah, a card effect that targets this face-up card, destroy it. Oh, he's going straight. More special summons. Okay. Into the state. Strategist is back. I'm going to probably take some battle damage here. <laughs> Spirit Reaper. Oh, what's that one other annoying card that people hate to deal with? Was it the Mole? It's Grand Spatian Mole. Let me see what that card looks like nowadays. Maybe we can add it to the deck too. Hero, uh, Mole, Yu-Gi-Oh. Neo Spatian Grand Mole. Let's see, start of this damage step. If this card battles an opponent spawn, I return uh, the mo opponent's monitor and this card to the hand. Okay. That might be a bit slow to what we do though. Oh, he returned my defense draw though. That's an issue. And Baron's back. I mean, I'm not really surprised. <laughs> and we're about to take 1,200. Don't do it. It's not worth it. No. Okay, well, I'm about to take a lot of damage. <laughs> no. Oh, you know what? We could use Gores. If people, if they're going to clear our field, we could use Gores. And um, take the battle damage, but at least put something back out. Wow, that's like that's the really early hand trap, isn't it? Gores. Yes, that's R. Oh, is it really? Ah, nuts. Let's see. Gores, it is. Hmm. Okay, something else to think about, I guess. Then 
We can still stick to what we have, but... We can play Gores. We can play... There's other options. What did we lose to there? We lost to... The multiple clearing effects, I guess. No entry? Which one was that one again? Let me see. Let's see. Uh, change all attack position monsters into defense position. That wouldn't be bad. In this case, I don't think it would work just because... Rather than setting them into defense mode, we need to do something about them, you know? I don't think it would work in this case, but... Not a bad starting hand. <laughs> the Lava Golem will be pretty useful if they special summon a lot. I'm kind of sad we're not getting our chains in our first hands, so though. That's extra useful, especially that Blue Eyes deck. What you got here? Oh, it's you again. Yeah, yeah, do your thing. Hmm, <laughs> how are we gonna do this? We're gonna let them beef up. We're gonna let them beef up and then we're gonna ring whatever has the highest attack. Oh, interesting, they're not... They're being cautious. That's fine. I appreciate that. By now, though, as soon as they see the marshmallow on, I think they already know this is going to be a damage deck. Lose one turn card. Hmm. It's not a bad idea to put those cards in, but... Oh my god, you know what we should play? We should actually play Final. The Final uh, Destiny board. That'd be kind of fun. I don't know how you could play that nowadays, but it'd be fun to try. Uh, what is this? Oh, they're special summoning. Oh, they're doing their thing. Okay. Let's see. Uh oh, YouTube's doing the thing again. Might have to fix that again later. Well, actually, no, it doesn't look as bad as it was before. It, just, it looks like there might be a tiny bit, but let's hope it doesn't continue. What you got? You're gonna do a lot of things, aren't you? Okay, let's see. Putting on my Yu-Gi-Oh face here. <laughs> wonder if I can angle it a bit better. Let's see. There you go. That's a little better, right? Am I the only one having problems with YouTube? No, you're not. I think it's... I think the buffering is happening again, but it's not as happening as bad as before. What's happening here? A soul, soul emergence. Okay. Uh, the, it looks like the buffering is happening again, which is kind of a shame. But I think uh, it seems to be minimal compared to what it was last time. So hopefully, I think we're good. Okay, what they got? Oh, they ended their phase. We're going to Ring of Destruction that. big outfits for both of us, but you know what? It's worth. Mm, okay, we're gonna set this and pass. <laughs> I 
It's strange. It was the whole side. Oh, was it really? Maybe it was YouTube then. Oh, what did they play? Hold up. Warlords. Okay. Oh, that's perfect. Each player can only control one type of monster. I only ever said anything anyways. <laughs> I think it was the site because everything else on my OBS looks fine. So I think... I think it was YouTube. Maybe it was YouTube was having an issue. It wasn't me. No, no, that's not true. I did a full router reset and that looks to have fixed my own issues. So... Well, it, it should be back by now, so hopefully everything's fine. So what you've missed maybe so far is the Ring of Destruction, their, uh, their, uh, their Grandmaster. We pulled a magic cylinder, and now we wait. <laughs> Let's see what they come up with. Guys, this shouldn't be working as well as it is. <laughs> I'm going to level with you. I don't think it really should be, but it's... Funny as hell that it is. <laughs> he locked himself, Lamal. Did he really? Was it because of the... Of this? Let's see. Oh, this is a, technically a sword, sword soul monster? That's funny. I didn't know that. Let's see. Don't destroy his monster. Why? Is it because he... Oh, because of the rivalry. <laughs> I see. Well, that works for us, doesn't it? Give me the pot. No! Got ashed. That sucks. He can't summon anything nor activate that monster effect. Yeah, because of the, the, ri the rivalry, right? Okay, so that makes sense. <laughs> Well, it's a waiting game now. I think I actually kind of milled myself there, didn't I? I, didn't, I wasn't expecting the ash, but there it is. Uh, oh, we lost a chain energy too. And a secret barrel. <laughs> I mean, yes, all you can do is really put yourself in defense position after all this. <laughs> wow, look, we're getting under the, the common, like, uh... Not staples, but like side cards. We're getting under Warlords because all we do is set. <laughs> oh, look, another Lava Golem that we can't use right now. <laughs> this is going to be such a long duel. Oh no, he might deck me out. 22 turns from now, he could deck me out. Is he big braining? Is he trying to deck me? Uh-oh, it's in attack mode again. What are you doing? What are you doing? Just stop. Don't worry, just draw a cauldron. <laughs> That's true. If we get it early enough, we can um, let it sit for a bit. Oh, they said something. What did they set? <laughs> oh, they banished some stuff too. What did they what are they doing? Uh-oh. That looks fat. Oh, is he going to destroy my marshmallow? <laughs> is that what's happening? He's trying to declare light. No! Damn you! <laughs> yeah. <laughs> bah. Okay, so far so good. Uh oh, the buffering's happening again. It might be YouTube. What do we draw? Ooh, another defense draw. Uh, that's actually kind of off though. We can't actually play the lava golems because they can only control one type, and I guess it would count as It would count as three once I put it up there before tributing? I don't know. That seems weird. Yugo rulings are weird. Uh oh, it's so it's, it's a sword soul. Also, hold up, why can't why aren't my defense draws like activating? During your opponent's turns at battage battle uh damage calculation. Is, it, is that not including direct damage or something?
Oh, they're tuning. What they got? This is kind of awk. We can't really tribute their things because of their warlords, though. But can they get past? So here's the thing. I think defense draw is might be have to, just might have to be replaced because. I think it doesn't work with direct damage, or it doesn't seem like it does at the moment. Because these guys attacked, and all they could activate was Magic Cylinder and Threatening Roar. Oh, you know what? No, it, was, it wasn't the battle, st the damage stuff yet. That might be why. Man, if I could only tribute at this time, that would be nice. <laughs> Maybe I could give him Kaijus and Mirror. Magic cylinders on the back. Oh, it's Chen Ying. That's fat. And I got burned. Hmm. I'm not going to activate the Threatening Roar yet, I think. They played that well yet, and you have to activate the traps after the battle occurs. Yeah, I, I've just realized now. So yes, I think that is what's going to happen here. Ooh, hello. Don't mind if I do. You know what? I want the draw power first. I'll let that one go through. They chose the order correctly there. If they attacked with the 28 first, I could have... Um, I could have defense drawn and then... Oh my god, three. <laughs> we have a flush. I can't use any of these. The warlords are there. It's okay. We just need one card. Oh, is he going to choose Dark? Oh, he's going to destroy his own Protoss. Oh, Phoenix Chain. That's not going to work. That's kind of silly that he can counter Lava Golem with Rivalry, though. That's kind of whack, but that's okay. Um, We're not dead yet, I don't think, but... We're getting awfully close. <laughs> if we can get a secret barrel, that would be pretty nice. We have actually we do have a few outs. We have a secret barrels. We have the rings. Uh, actually, no, the rings would kill us. I think the rings would kill us. Um, chain energy would be pretty nice. Banishing something from my graveyard? Is that what's happening? Oh, field. Oh, he got my... Wow, he got my... um My threatening roar. Okay, that's a problem, isn't it? To be honest, this deck overperformed. <laughs> Lol, it's true, though. This shouldn't be working as well as it is. Battle fader. No, Max. Wait, Max C. Are you gonna, are you gonna draw a card? Okay, that's fine. This deck is overperforming, it's true. <laughs> it's the heart of the cards, friends. We we have to we have to find it. The last card. <laughs> it's triple lava golem. What am I supposed to do with this? Of all the cards that got milled and everything, we just happened to get the triple Lava Golem. Oh, does that work? Does... Does the permanence work with that?
I guess it might. It doesn't, right? I don't think it should. Because it still end the battle phase. Yeah, okay. I, I just did it for... Just in case, you know, if we can stop the Sovereign. I mean, there's, there's no other case where we'll use the, we'll, we'll use the Phoenix Chain at this point, so... <laughs> this shouldn't be working, but it's getting more mileage than I'm expecting, and I'm loving it. Come on, we got 18 cards. Okay, let's let's do some math. We got... Oh, 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 two of our magic cylinders are in here. Come on, Destiny, draw! Secret Barrel! Oh my god, we might actually win. Hold on. <laughs> if, they, if they can't negate this, we actually win! Oh my god! <laughs> this is so ridiculous. I wonder if they're getting freaked out at that I have three cards in my hand too, though. <gasps> no! He has a card to destroy it! No! He's gonna destroy it! You asshole! <laughs> no! <laughs> Our secret barrel! <laughs> oh, that was him. He was dead. Ah, oh, okay. Well, he... <laughs> they fought well. They... They got over the trap hill that was our deck, and we still had fun, so you know what? It's fine. We did triple dead draw into Lava Golem, though. That's kind of a problem with, I guess, just Warlords. Uh, so close yet so far, indeed. It's okay. We did our best. Um, let's see. Wait, you play uh, Cyber Dragons, right? You can use a spell that makes everything into machines to fusion their monsters into chimera no we could but we need we need the cyber dragons in our deck that only works if we have a cyber dragon um in perm column uh could i have been perm that no i don't think so because if i said it in the in perm column i think it still would have gone destroyed that was a good duel you know what we we got mileage out of their deck they managed to find a way around it I'm happy for both sides in this case. <laughs> Not bad though. You know what? We're gonna end it with a win. We're jumping in again. We're gonna we have to end tonight with a win with the the stinky deck. I might just have to keep playing this deck too. This is a lot more fun than I realized. I wouldn't realize. Oh, we're going second though. No. I never win the. I'm starting to realize I never win the coin tosses. Only a few, like, every, every so while do I actually win a coin toss. Okay, what we got? We got some stinky cards off the bat to defend ourselves, but nothing damage-wise, so that's kind of an issue. Are there any other pot cards we can use? I'm trying to think. The Prosperity... I think we had the Desires. Alright, we have Desires. Oh wait, no, I don't think we have Prosperity, do we? We have uh, Extravagance in here. What's this? Synchro Dark Magician? I like the sights, the sights of that. That's kind of sad though. See, the deck that I had in mind, I kind of wanted to use for the uh, decks that play way too much, like the top tier decks. Now we're getting decks that look fun to play against, and I'm like, oh, well, I'm not playing my actual fun deck either, so I'm kind of sad about that. <laughs> oh, what is this? The Crocodile Dragon. That's awesome. Ooh, interesting. He could discard cards and then destroy stuff. Okay. Uh, is he going to Synchro more, though? Let's see. Is this a Dark Magician Synchro? I like that. That sounds interesting. Oh, level 10. Oh, it's a Baron. Nice. Classic card. And you can special summon... Uh, Esselicia. Nice. This is a combination of a lot of different things. I like that, though. It's interesting to see. But... I do have a plan around that, at least for now. 
uh, bring that over there. Yeah, sorry. And then we can might as well just play the pot. <laughs> All the synchros we don't use in this deck. Oh, you know what? I guess Lynx could be a possibility for us too. Wave motion cannon? I know, oh, wow, we just revealed all of those, didn't we? They're gonna see it and be like, oh god, it's this kind of player. Do we want the Fisher? I, I think we kind of want the Fisher, don't we? Nah, we're going straight damage. Let's go wave motion. Uh, yes, yes. Yes, yes, yes. Okay. Stinky card incoming. Woo! Watch him negate it, though. Uh oh, Eternal Soul. Don't want that. That's the Dark Magician. If they get the special summoning, they'll just go right over me with that Venus Chain, though. You know what? I wouldn't be surprised if they would try tuning with the Lava Golem, too, though. Uh, they're not going to go for the tune. Okay, this is going to keep it there. Oh, uh, you know what? We should battle Vader. Let's see. I was saying that it's dangerous to put your spells and traps in a column that they are using because it could uh, be an impermanent. They could negate your spells and traps. Oh, I see. I see what you're saying. Yeah, I, I don't think that far ahead. <laughs> I should. You're right. That's a good the point, though. The Mascarina during your opponent's main phase. Hmm. I'm starting to think we should have got the dimensional. Oh, Jesus, they have a whole, uh, whole collection of cards, don't they? Uh, we'll just do whatever. It's kind of gross, though. Eternal Soul just keeps Lexi summoning uh, Dark Magician from the graveyard. Oh, hello. Don't mind if I do. Okay. <laughs> uh, one counter on the wave motion cannon. It'll be really funny if they can't find a way to target this, though. Interesting. Let's see. Uh oh. More monsters. Let's see, let's see, let's see. Man, I'm kind of bummed about that previous match. We were so close. Are you going to attack it either way? I mean, that's fine. I might have still under it. Wait, why? Oh, they have a card that negates it, doesn't it? Unaffected by spell trap card. That's annoying. Oh my gosh, I shouldn't have used that. Man, okay, well. Ooh, hello. <laughs> we're just gonna 
we're being so annoying right now, but it's working. It's working. It shouldn't be working, but it's working. If they get rid of the wave motion cannon, though, I'm going to be really bummed. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. That's 14. Okay. Well, now it's not, but... Uh-oh. Nightmare Unicorn with a, a chick on top. Alternate art. Nice. Uh, target one. Let's return. Uh, okay, that's fun. That's a problem. You see, they can just return it now, huh? Kind of greedy on the wave motion. Maybe a little. But it has to marinate, right? It has to sit there. Now I'm learning that there's a lot of ways around bouncing cards. Like, with, even with Dark Magician, there's like a lot of bouncing and stuff. Kind of an issue. Aha! Penguin Soldier! Get out of here. But the Eternal Soul is going to let him put it. Oh, well, no, it's unaffected. It doesn't matter. Let's see. I like the combination of decks they, they splashed into each other, though. This is pretty neat to see. Let's see, activate this card. Uh, ooh, fancy. What are we getting? I mean, that can be useful. Not incredibly useful right now, but it can be useful. Unicorn's only one summoned. Oh, is that true? Oh, oopsies. Let's see, circle, but they could still banish things with circle. Um, I see. Okay, they could. Uh, he tried negating the effects, but it, it, you know what? Actually, no. I believe it's the break. Yeah. Okay. I was going to say, I don't think that there's like some sort of weird passive effect on the card like some other cards. Yu-Gi-Oh is weird. Well, we have counters. It's a matter of if we could live long enough to use it. I'm kind of bummed about the... The cylinder though, I didn't realize that would actually still affect, like technically quote unquote affect Dark Magician. And that cancels it because of that reason. Well I'm learning something new, I guess, in that case. Ooh, it's actually getting pretty late. I just realized the time. So after this one, I think we were gonna finish up for tonight, but we have something new to try. The the stinky deck is actually pretty funny, and it seems to be working relatively well, so why not, you know? Then we could keep playing. Okay, the bench draw. Nice. How did they get rid of it last time? That was a uh, trap card, I think, right? Oh no, they got rid of Destined Rivals, okay. Yeah, honestly, I didn't think about that either. Yeah, I'd be like that, though. What are we at? Four? Five counters? If we somehow make this a win... You know what? I wonder if they're not reading the Wave Motion Cannon or they forgot that it's there. Because they haven't got done anything to get rid of it yet. Yeah, you know, it's still some of those weird railings, uh, rulings of Yu-Gi-Oh, right? You just you don't really think of until... Oh, wow, the Abel Star. Okay, and this 
Makes me a bit sadder now. Literally in every deck now. There goes the Sinful Spoils. I, you know what? No, this one is still kind of unique in the sense that they're using Dark Magician and a bunch of other cards like that shouldn't splash together. So it's kind of neat to see. Well, let's see what happens. If they attack the Marshmallow, they'll take 1,000 and I could wave Motion Cannon in their face, but... I'm sure there's some sort of negate somewhere on the field where it's going to be like, nope, no damage. Let's see... Nothing too serious yet, it seems. Are we going to do it? Is this the one? I believe! Protect me, Marshmallow. They're definitely thinking. They're wondering, I think, if it's a Spirit Reaper or, or Marshmallow. Okay, you can special summon this card. You get one face up, I think it's like. Yeah, okay, so it doesn't have to be more Marshmallow on. Ooh, a cross up. There's the deal, Beal Star. The Sinful Spoils. They're really thinking. <laughs> They're really, really thinking. I don't know why they're keeping Dark Magician on the field. Yeah, I'm wondering the same. Right, like, okay, there you go. Now they they can get their Dark Magician back and then they destroy the wave motion, I think. There you go. You got it. If they don't, oh my god, they didn't choose the wave motion cannon. Why? I don't think they're reading the cards, chat. Oh my goodness. We might have game. Pog? Let's see what they do, but they could still destroy my entire field somehow, I'm sure. Oh, look at Celine. Let's see, I think... I think the destruction effect only happens once, right? Yeah, once per turn. Okay, so we don't have to worry about that at least, but... Access code. Uh oh. Is it the wave motion or the monster though? What are they gonna choose? No, they chose right. Oh, good game. Oh well. If you like that. Ah, uh, Hexus Code Talker is too much. It does it keeps can keep doing it? Ah, well, they figured out a way around it. That's fine. They can't be too mad. I messed up though. If I had that magic cylinder at the right time, I think we would have been able to win. Ooh, special effects. That's okay. You know what? This deck is still doing pretty well compared to what I expected it to do. So you know what? I'm happy with how we ended up today, <laughs> honestly. Let's see. Before we leave, though, let's see if there's anything we can tweak it, though. Uh, the destiny draws are... Not destiny. The um, defense draws are okay, I think. I don't know if there's anything that's really slowing our deck down. It was a fun attempt. It's true. I appreciate that, Crow. It, I mean, it is, it's still working, technically. It's not doing too bad. It's kind of wish there was more 
defensive options we can do. So, Lava Golem isn't bad, but it also takes away our normal summoner set for the turn, which is kind of bad. If anything, it's more like a finisher, huh? We just played Dice Jar. <laughs> Did we just play Dice Jar? Just really cheese it. I might have to do that. I'll keep that in mind. You know what? I'm going to keep that in mind because that's actually really funny. We could actually put Dice Jar instead of Lava Golems. Okay, but anyways, I think that's where we'll call it for tonight, y'all. Thank you so much for joining me for this lovely uh, Thursday evening of uh, Yu-Gi-Oh! Now Friday, I suppose, um, where I'm at. Actually, wait, let me go. Let me change from Jodoshi here. There we go. <laughs> But yeah, um, I hope you had fun watching. It was fun creating that deck with you guys. I hope we can maybe tune it up a little to make it even more dangerous. It seems to be pretty fun. My lack of SR and UR badges is kind of biting me in the butt to make like new cards. But you know what? What we have so far is actually pretty fun. So, all right. So for those in the chats, Crow, Sea Lantern, Juanito, uh, Dustin, who else was here today? Clack. Thank you all for, for joining me with um, this lovely uh, Yu-Gi-Oh stream. I hope you will pop by again sometime soon. Uh, Sunday, I think, is when we're going to stream next. It might be more Yu-Gi-Oh, some Zomboids. Uh, see, my internet's working properly again, it seems, so that's some good news. Um, hopefully, it'll stay stable over the week. But yeah, thank you for joining me again. Have a lovely rest of this week. Friday, it's, you're practically at the weekend. Do your best. Eat well. Stay healthy. Bye-bye to you, Sea Lantern, as well. And... Uh, to y'all, a lovely and good night. This is Nanashi, your favorite Quokka chef, clocking out for today. Good night, y'all. Good night, Crow. I see you posting there, too. And uh, I'll catch you on the other streams. I appreciate that. I hope you enjoyed today. All right, everybody. Have a good night. Talk to you soon. Otsukare.